we'll let us come back and do the next class of chemical properties of aldehydes. As I said, because of the carbonyl, carbon and oxygen, it's going to show us a series of reduction reactions, oxidation reactions, nucleophilic addition reactions due to loss of oxygen and without loss of oxygen. So let us come back with the third category of chemical properties that is the reduction reactions of aldehydes and ketones. So um, we are going to learn now the reduction reactions. Basically, in reduction reactions, we very well know we you require the presence of the reducing agents, right? So reducing agents which I'm going to use are as we have already studied platinum, palladium, nickel, right? Here I'm going to use the reducing agents like nickel, lithium, aluminium, hydride. I'll be showing how how are these acting in the presence of uh, when you add it to an aldehyde or ketone we'll also be doing like uh, i'm going to show you a reaction called clemenson's reduction or clemenson's reaction yeah we'll also be doing a reduction process called wolf kishner reduction we i'll also be showing the reduction using <coughs> hydrogen iodide and red phosphorus i'll be clearly showing each and everything so please uh, note the different reactions one is reduction of um, aldehydes and ketones with uh, the nickel and aluminium hydride clemenson wolf kishner hi remember i'm giving you uh, under the headings right i'm writing the heading i'm writing listing out the reactions please learn it like that only so that it is easy for you because what happens in ncrt the given it properly organized book but problem is when you are learning your retention will be very less so when you study under the different subheadings it is easy for you to memorize in the exam and your whole of organic will be clearly done for the examination Whenever we are speaking about reduction reactions, as I said, we require a reducing agent, isn't it? Now, remember one important thing, sodium borohydrate, very important. This particular sodium borohydrate is specific for, or it is used as a reducing agent for carbonyl group. Remember, whenever you are using carbonyl group, the specific reagent is reducing agent is sodium borohydrate. It will not show its effect when it is with C double bond C. This particular thing will not act with this. So only C double bond or characteristic reducing agent is sodium borohydrate. Other than that, I can also use lithium aluminium hydride, platinum, palladium, yeah, uh, for it as a reducing agent. So let me start with the first one. Now I'm going to use or show the reduction reaction using using nickel catalyst in the presence of lithium aluminium hydride right it is a reducing agent so what is the role now it has to either remove oxygen or add hydrogen reducing agent right now i'm going to take an aldehyde so in the exam when you're seeing such reducing agents like for example pt pd n uh, uh, nickel lithium aluminium hydride sodium borohydride remember all are ra's reducing agents they have to either remove oxygen or add hydrogen now i'm going to take an aldehyde let me up a pick up a ketone ch3 <coughs> co ch3 now when i take these two if i'm adding Thus, in the presence of nickel, as soon as you see this in the paper, that means you have to add hydrogen. Though the board is not going to give you here hydrogen, you have to add hydrogen and show. So, hydrogen. So, I am writing hydrogen as HNH. H. Here also, I am going to write hydrogen as HNH. H. So, the same thing here. Lithium aluminum hydride. Observe carefully. Either this or this. Now, one hydrogen. Now, this is going to break a bond here. Now, so, one hydrogen shifts to this and one more hydrogen shifts same story here also one hydrogen shifts and one more hydrogen shifts to this oxygen so what product do you get you get a product like this what ch3 c h one hydrogen here and oh right what is this now this is ch3 ch2 oh what is this alcohol it is a primary alcohol and it is also ethanol so what do you say it's aldehydes okay let us write one important thing now aldehydes on reduction gives me primary alcohols 
hope you re recollected when i told this earlier again also i've told the same right now second uh, let us take ketones what how does this look ketones c ch3 i'm going to get oh and get h what is this actually ch3 <coughs> your uh, again uh, your uh, same uh, to this also you have one more ch3 you have ch and oh correct now what is this now it is a secondary alcohol secondary alcohol so what do you write ketones on reduction gives me secondary alcohols so please remember i'll be the way i'll when i complete the organic uh, chemistry i'll be giving you a lot of hints how to remember which product you're going to get from where so whichever i write in the box please try to highlight that and learn it